Okay, so starting out with my Bare Minerals Prime Time Eye Primer. Eye Primer, I'm just going to place this on my eye. And we know what a primer does, it just makes the eyeshadows appear more vibrant, makes them stay longer, and prevents from creasing, most importantly. Okay, now that that's on, I'm going to come back to my old favorite, which is my MAC Groundwork Paint Pot. And this hasn't really been getting love because of all my color tattoos. Yeah, I'm just going to put that right on top of it. I was just looking for something in this color since my color tattoo isn't exactly this color. It's more taupey and this one's more, I don't really know how to describe it, but it's like a more browny tan color. So now, over that, I'm going to pop into my Naked palette, and I'm going to use the shade Buck, which is this like darker brown matte shade, and I'm going to take my blending brush, my Build Your Own Tool 785, and I'm just going to sweep that into my crease area for blending purposes. I hope this actually works out for blending because like I don't know I feel funny about using such a light color but if I use it any darker it's going to really show up on my skin tone and I don't like that okay now I'm going to take my essence of beauty brush eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna to go to my naked palette again yeah and I'm going to use the color sidecar which is this color right here it's like a champagne -y color, and I think it's really pretty. And I'm going to take that on one side of the brush and place that from my inner corner to the middle of my eyelid. Something like that. So now I'm going to take my Urban Decay eyeshadow brush that I got with my Naked Palette. And surprise, surprise! Well, no, I'm not going to Naked Palette. I'm actually going to the Vice Palette. And I'm taking that shade, ooh, that shade Occupy, which is like that blue glittery one right here. You see, I've been going crazy with that color. So I'm going to take that on this brush and really just get it on there because we have to pack it on in a patting motion since it's so glittery. Tap off the extra. I'm going to take that from the outer until it touches the side car. I'm patting just so it stays vibrant and so glittery, just to prevent as much fallout as possible. While still getting a good amount of the color on there. And we just want to like slightly overlap it just so they blend a little. And just pack it on until you get the desired look. Now I'm going to take my, let's see, I'm going to take this little brush, which is a stiff tapered crease brush that I got from, I want to say, Royal and Langernickel. I really want to say if that's where I got this one. And this time I'm going to go into my Balm Nude 2 palette. I'm going to take the color Sirius, which is this really deep dark brown, almost black shade. This is black. This is still deep dark brown. See, um, it's called Sleek. And I'm just going to go with that on this brush, tap off the extra. And I'm just going to take that into the crease now. I'm going over the blue that's in the crease, but just getting in the crease. Getting really deep in there. Okay, once that's in there, I'm gonna take my Clinique eyeshader. I want to say yes, eyeshader brush. This big, big and fluffy brush, and I'm going to take Rice Paper by Mac, which is this color. I'm just gonna take that on the brush shake off the extras and 
Just go right under my brow bone and just drive under my brow to the crease. So clearly it's going to make a really harsh line and I'm not going to use this brush to blend it out because I don't want to use too many shimmery colors. So I'm going to take the Speldillion Tools brush again that I used on the buck and I'm going to take some more buck from the Naked Palette. And I'm just going to hit that line right in between the two to blend them together so that the line isn't harsh. Now for an eyeliner, I'm going to take, let's see, Mac, um, not MAC, Ooh, not MAC, Urban Decay's Perversion 24-7 Glide On Pencil. And it's just a perfect deep dark black. And I'm going to concentrate this on the outer waterline. And just take it in. But it goes slightly outside the waterline for like the outer third. Now I'm not going to worry about this because as you can see I have all this glitter on my face so I'm going to have to clean it up anyway. Don't worry about getting it too sloppy. If you have shadow shields, this would be the time to, it would have been the time to use them earlier just because I have to clean all that up and it's not fun. So now I'm going to take my MAC 266 brush, which is this little angled liner brush, and I'm going to take my black track fluid line also from MAC. Looks like that. And I'm going to create a really small wing. Well, it's not a small wing, but I'm going to make a really sharp wing, starting in the middle of my eye. Ooh, didn't mean block, yes. Going outward first. Creating the wing and dragging it back. And then going to the inner corner and creating that line. Just making sure I'm gonna make the wing nice and sharp. So it looks something more or less like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna go apply my mascara and just clean up under here so I can show you guys what to do with the rest of the face and for the costume. For the foundation, I picked up my Urban Decay Naked Skin just because I like the finish of it. And now I'm going to take my Royal and Langer Nickel. Fan brush with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Gold Deposit. And I'm just going to dust that around in there. Tap off the extra and let's highlight my face now. I'm going to take my La Femme brush, blush in Purple Passion. And yeah, that's kind of a crazy blush. And it's super duper pigmented too. Like, I'm not even sure how this is going to turn out. So like, you know, I barely touched my brush on that, so I'm just gonna like start in the back, come forward, and hit that with the cheeks, and see how that goes. I love purple blush, I really do. Now for the lips, I'm going to take my <laughs> MAC, woo, Tarte Lip Surgeons in Lively. You can see this before, my favorites video. And it's just this matte, hot pink color. I want to do something really crazy for the lips, so... Isn't that just so beautiful? Like, I don't know. I love matte lip colors, and when it's bright and matte, it's just like, whoa. There's nothing distracting you from that color at all. Okay, that's it for the actual makeup look. This is the whole face. And now I'm going to show you the costume for this look. Well, since it's Halloween, right? Um, you know, and you might not really want to carry around a guitar unless you actually have one and you're used to it. But if you're not used to it and you have a guitar, you'll find that it's kind of heavy. So, 
for this accessories, I would just say carrying some sort of guitar, a little guitar here, a guitar, it's a little toy. Um, if it's an older one, it's even better because like if something bad happens to it, because you never know if something bad happens to it, it was just a toy anyway, right? So this is my rock band guitar. Looks like that. It's supposed to be a Fender guitar, electric guitar, right? And it, I'd say it's a pretty good fake replica, so I'd go with it. Or if you want to be the drummer, carry your drumsticks. Nice, easy, and light. You can just bang on things all night and just shove them in your back pocket. I mean, who wouldn't notice? It? Oh, who wouldn't really notice it from the front or from the side? It's like, oh, hey guys, I'm a drummer. So that's always fun, also from a rock band game. Or if you like singing, why not carry the mic with you? It's a little USB mic, and it doesn't sound so bad either. But I mean, it's not really going to be plugged into anything. So if you have one that functions, just take the cord. Yeah, it's pretty long. Just take the cord, wrap it up, shove it in your pocket. Or if you have a mic stand with you, if you have a mic stand, like take the mic stand and just carry it out around. Since it's pretty light, you just put that, you just take all the heavy cords, put it in your back pocket too. I mean, what's stopping you? And then you just walk around with the mic and you'll figure out what you are. Now, for the actual outfit, I don't know why I'm talking into the mic, I'm just gonna put that away. For the actual outfit, I'm just wearing this shirt that I got from Delia's a while back. It says rock on, the little rock hand symbol. And then I'm just wearing a scarf with it just because I wanted to throw something up there. These skinny jeggings are from Express, and I just saw a dark purple color. I just like purple, so that's the only reason I pulled it out. And then I have my little high top Converse, which look like that. And they're like the double inner type with like, oh, like pink and purple and kind of, sort of. Yeah, and the more beat up your chucks look, the better, right? So for my hair, I kind of just pin my fro back to on both sides, so I have a little fro off. Bell hop going on at the front, which I thought would just be a really nice touch for the whole look. And just again, just take one of these little props with you, and I mean, you'd have to be pretty dumb not to notice at this point, right? Just walk around playing people's songs, and you know what? It's happy Halloween. Until next time, stay beautiful inside and out. Bye.